And now, inside the mind of Felipe. Oh, goodness, jeez, man. Gulak's just running in there. Well, frick, man, the plan failed. I really thought they'd think I was a doctor and wanted to leave. Or maybe they just killed me. Ugh, I don't want to die yet, man. All right, I guess we're walking in here. Kind of spooky. There's a light. We're walking up the steps. What the heck is that thing? What is that thing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That thing shouldn't be alive. It's like it's got a, they're like the head of a lion, a tiger, and a bear. Oh, my. Well, I guess we're at this door now. Walking through some, like, narrow uh, hallway. There's, like, a thing. It was in Sylvan's and Chuck Point. Oh, it's, like, sand everywhere. There's sand everywhere. It's going to get in my toes. Oh, man, I hate sand. Are those snakes? Are those invisible snakes? Oh, jeez, man. It just killed all of Gooblack's little animals that he birthed out of his goo. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? I'm not that I'm not that afraid of snakes because I could probably just eat them or, or maybe I could suck up their poison. I'm probably more poisonous than the snakes. But you know what? I'm out of here. I'll just wait till they figure it out. Oh, looks like they got it, and we're keeping it going. We're keeping it going. Oh, man, this is crazy. Do they know that I'm dying? Like, do they see? I hope they see that I'm, like, actually freaking dying right now. Like, I, 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 I'm dripping blood everywhere. I can barely keep myself straight up right now. Things are going very terribly for me. Whoa, what is that thing? Oh, goodness, that's even worse. You can see its organs in there. Oh, my God, it, it has kangaroo legs. Oh, 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 you know what? I'm gonna shut up. I'm not talking anymore. Here we are. Tackle point number two. Oh, man, Chip's gonna have to run through, like, a bunch of weapons and stuff. Oh, that's crazy. That's like, 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 like strings of chains, of, of sharp chains. Oh, man, they just someone turned the AC on. Damn, it feels good in here. You know what? I can't be bothered with this. I'm gonna stand by the door again. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like he made it. The door's opening. I guess we can just continue to keep going up. Oh, wait a second. Really? Right now, they want to sit down right now, in the middle of this laboratory, and just sit here and- Oh my god, he's crying. Oh, Chip is crying. Oh, now, 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 now Jay's, like, looking at him and saying something. Oh, like, we're in our feelings. We're getting in our feelings right here. Right now, are we sure this is the time? Really? There is a thing a few steps down where you can see its bones, and it looks like it could eat us. And another one, another one, uh, broke out. And, 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 and we're in the middle of this, this... Uh, this is not the time to be a bunch of little babies. Oh, oh my god, they think they're a mistake. What, 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 why are we crying over spilled fish like this? Why, what, what, what's so good about Gilead, huh? I mean, sure, I don't remember why I hate him, but, but, but I do. He's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a nobody. Like, he's a zero. Like, like who cares about him, you know? Ugh. Oh, finally, we're going. That's one big door. Oh, jeez. Oh, big jeez. That's one big thing. Oh, my God. It has faces in his arm. Oh, man. Oh, it talks. It talks right now. Its name is King. Oh, it wants to ask us a question. Oh, my God. Wait, where'd Gublin go? Oh, it's a philosophical question? What the? What is this place, man? I want to go home. I want... I want to go home, man. Like, I don't know anything about philosophy. I'm three days old, dude. What is this? Oh, man. Jay just invented determinism. Oh, hey, look. Gublin just freed the, 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 the big beast. Are you kidding me, Gublin? It's going to eat us. Oh, my God. Oh, Gublin. Like just invented indeterminism. Oh my! Uh, what the, the the floor is glowing. The the big beast is, is the, the 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 big beast is fucking smiling at us. Oh my god! We're getting teleported away. Looks like Felipe is getting he's a kind again. Well, I'll just roll with it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Bizzly, and I play Chip. Uncannily sounded like the milkman for a second there. Milk. Sorry. Milk. Hello, everybody. Oh. My name is Contrafiction. Hello, <laughs> And I play Jay. Hello, everybody. My name is Player. Hello. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Charlie Slimesicle. I uh, used to play the character you all knew and loved as Gillian Tidestrider, but he's gone, and now I play <laughs> Kublik. Harsh, bro. Yeah. Wasn't last episode the, like, final part of, like, Gillian's part, too? It was. Man, I wonder Damn. how they're doing. Remember, you two can't know nothing. Uh, well, he was a really fun character, I think, for all of us. 
<laughs> Wait, so you know There's some shit now. He knows some, Me? He's yeah. known some yeah. shit oh. for a while that we oh, haven't I know done. some shit, all right. Uh, but it's okay. Anyways. Don't kill yourself over it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my angry nose, Charlie, and you're gonna be upset about it. Dude, you can't even you can't even breathe in through all your holes. I'm not scared of you. Alright, 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 here we go. Where we last left off. The four of you. Chip, Jay, Kublik, and Felipe's there too, I guess. Of the Riptide Pirates. Encountered a pyramid in the middle of this jungle inside the interior uh, forest, sort of uh, what you would learn to be called the specimen observation forest, or branch. Inside of this uh, illusionary transmutated laboratory ran by the doctor and his interns. And inside this pyramid you saw different uh, amalgamations, like like chimeras that were disgustingly stitched together uh, and, and unexplainable and just horrifying to look at making your way through these, like, sort of security-level uh, chambers of traps and the like before you reach the very top of this pyramid, the King's Chambers, where you met King, a very massive, terrifying, probably the grossest chimera that you had seen up to this point, with faces uh, in its arms sort of bubbling out, one of those faces recognizable as the little halfling that was lost in the mirror. And this king said the doctor wanted him to pass judgment on you as visitors, on whether or not you'd be worthy enough to meet with the doctor. And to do that, all he did was ask a question, and do we have free will? We as in king, who kept referring to themselves as we, or we as in people in general, there was some discussion between Chip and Jay as Goop like snuck around and up and did his thing, his little gooey thing, and broke <laughs> the chains gooey that, thing, bro. <laughs> the, the thick chain that held King in place. And also my argument here in the chamber. He broke my argument. So and, true. and your argument, of course. I forget what it's called, but it was something. Uh, determinism. Determinism. <laughs> determinism. Yeah, Anyways, determinism. he broke your determinism. But now the four of you, or maybe just the three of you, I don't know about Felipe, are more determined than ever as. <laughs> King's uh, eyes and all the faces, including its own mask, begin to glow as these runic uh, inscriptions or, or, or carvings in the steel floor below you begin to glow as well. And in an instant, uh, seeing it's just sort of like uh, face showing emotion for the first time since you'd met it, you disappeared without a sight, supposedly on your way to see the doctor. And so the journey continues. So it all goes black for all of you, but you still feel this sort of, like, distorted, uh, crunching, uh, magical, arcane feeling as if you know that your being is being transported through space and you're rising, but it's happening magically. Can I hold Felipe's hand? Sure you can. You're gonna, yeah. you're gonna merge with Felipe, no! <laughs> no, dude! Oh, can we not? We come out the other side, it's like a Cronenberg, <laughs> like the most fucked thing of all time. It's like a Freaky Friday situation, and now Felipe's goob-like, -like and you're Felipe. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, during this brief teleportation, Gublek, what you would assume to be the last batch of those memories mm -hmm. from Navian hit your mind's eye. It's much later in life, and you see where you know that you see actually in sort of this like reflection of, of, of glass behind these um, monitors that you had seen before. You can see the face of the puppeteer, so you know that this is who you are. These are the memories of where they're from. It's confirmed. And just off to the side, you see those rows of vats that have more of the puppeteer bodies. Oh, God. And you look to your left, and you're watching this big, hulking figure, humanoid, with this large syringe, like a needle that is at least 12 inches long. And it's filled with some liquid that looks a little fuzzy. And you blink in this memory, and that humanoid stabs into themselves. And oh, there's shit. this sort of, like, bubbling... And and gurgling, and then this sort of like transformation of, as this humanoid begins to expand. Can I tell what the liquid looks like in this memory, or no? It's a little hazy, as if the memory itself has sort of vignetted, but it does seem to be a shade. Can I tell what color it is? It does seem to be a shade of purple. And with that, all of you should bamf into a new area. Where? Okay, where are we now? I'm gonna look around. So. As you appear within this new space, instantaneously, you're standing in an octagon. You can you can already tell it's an octagonal shaped interior mm -hmm. with uh, polished 
dark polished concrete at your feet hearing the hissing sounds of steam accompanied by this electronic whirring. You look to your left, uh, all four of you, and slowly up to see steel beams and industrial riveted pipes climbing these carved steel walls, giving it this layered and decorative importance almost. And the walls themselves taper up like a cone until your eyes reach the highly raised ceiling, ending in this skylight of crystallized stained glass, refracting this dim, multicolored light throughout the room with just these, like, ring of spotlights just outside of that skylight. Well, if he was going to take us anywhere to kill us, this is the place. <laughs> as soon as you say that, <laughs> all of your attention gets redirected by the sound of something, like, <laughs> stomping on the ground, which echoes in this chamber. And it redirects the attention to which you see directly in front of you a gigantic, slowly gyrating hourglass with this enchanting, elegant woman inside of it. And you briefly notice her exaggerated elven features, but you're overwhelmed by the sheer amount of these thick wires that are hanging from a suspended glowing ring that surrounds the hourglass. The wires travel up through the ring and then scatter around the room into indiscernible machinery with that purple liquid pumping and dripping through everything that's connected to the hourglass centerpiece. And you recognize that goop like you kind of put it together that this liquid and the liquid in that syringe is the same, but that centerpiece and this entire chamber, as much as it is and as much as all of it is to take in, nothing quite matches the sheer intimidating presence from the figure that stands in front of the hourglass facing it, where you recognize that's where the sound just came from when you spoke. What are you guys doing? I am so happy that when Gublek die, it has the family dog. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> good good boy, I pet him on the head. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Holding the sword, I, I, I do look over. You've been a good boy, Gublek. Okay, Gublek actually very much enjoys Jay petting him. You see as his eyes don't exactly close, they just like squish horizontally <laughs> like a Photoshop like transform. And then he does sit as, as Jim tells him to sit. Uh, my <laughs> eyes are locked on this this elven lady in this yeah. hourglass, and I'm actually gonna start like slowly taking steps toward the hourglass. Holding Gillian's sword, kind of just like, I don't think Chip would be able to just hold it upright like this for very long, but just like kind of holding it backwards and walking forward as well with, with Jay. Felipe mutters under his breath, Oh fuck, I don't know about this one. <laughs> Uh, so you guys begin to walk forward yeah. and almost in tandem with your steps as you approach. The figure standing in front of the hourglass just sort of like slowly turns the shoulders and then turns the entire body. And then you see the roughly seven foot tall man with this Herculean build. He's seven foot tall and he has this power lifter, like Olympian power lifter. Yeah, I stop walking. <laughs> so both of you, okay, so you stop walking, I'll, Chip. I'll stop with Jay, but I'll, but I'll continue to stare. Yeah, I continue to stare. Right. I, I want to immediately make, if you'll let me, I guess, a, like a saving throw to not immediately be scared or like frightened. Go ahead and make a wisdom save for frightened, yeah. Yeah, because Scooblek would see this face and immediately flashback. Absolutely would. You would recognize. I actually rolled pretty well. I got an 18. Okay, so you aren't frightened, mostly because this visage of this humanoid, what you remember are the eyes, but you don't remember the rest of it, which is what you guys are looking at. His skin is this deep plum shade uh, with cracks of purple veins that branch all around the skin and up the skull. And, and don't say anything, but he is bald. <laughs> He's bald, okay? Don't say anything. Don't move. Don't move. Just let me finish. Please don't move. He's he's very bald. He is beautifully bald. I mean, like Mr. Clean bald. He is. It's like it is the most defined fucking like forehead, like temple bones. It is. He's so bald. It's awesome. Anyways, but he has this arrow-shaped white beard with uh, a well-groomed mustache. His thick and white eyebrows resting sternly above his full black slera eyes and the golden glowing irises. And this is what you remember the most, Scoop. Like, I just want to say we're all all of us are children. <laughs> He said yeah, the word bald. <laughs> He's wearing his lab coat as like a cape over the shoulders of an extremely well-crafted and designed suit. Uh, the black coat of the suit has a silver snake wrapping around both sleeves and the leg of his black pants. His undershirt is gold with a black tie layered below a purple and gold vest tucked into a purple sash. The outfit concludes with black dress shoes that have golden tips. And he sort of once again 
taps this cane that he's holding, this cane that is, is black with these golden, two golden metal snakes constricting it, and you notice that he has rings on his fingers that could rival a pirate. And he just smiles. And I'll show you guys the art for what you are looking at. Holy fuck, he's Holy huge. Holy shit, bro! Whoa! Oh my god, he's massive! Oh my god. Oh my god, is that Gooblek? Dude, why is his orb like- why, why, am, why am I dead in his feet, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> this bodes- this bodes ill for Gooblek. Those shoes are fucking drippy as hell, though. Yeah, he's dripped oh out. He looks god. like- he looks like fucking- like a Yakuza. Please don't turn me to drip! I did think of Saints Row. That Dude, you know sense. what he looks Get. like? He looks like a Saints Row Mafia genie. <laughs> in, in canon, I didn't describe the that circle. That's just for flavor for the yeah. art. It's not actually in yeah. the fucking campaign. <laughs> okay, you don't yeah. see that. It you is, just see the It map. is awesome. It is awesome. But those like so those cool. cracks of purple do run through his skin. Oh man, this art is so cool. I'm so <laughs> glad that I'm gonna be able to download this on our Patreon, patreon.com slash just roll with it where I'll have the high quality download for the art of this awesome character. I'm so happy Can't about that. Can't wait to download this, hang it in a frame uh, over all my old Gooblex stuff so I can remember what fucking killed him. <laughs> it's gonna be great. He sort of like smiles and then picks up his cane a little bit, the gesture at the hourglass, and he says, sick as fuck, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, Did he just say sick as fuck? I think he just said sick as fuck. No, it's, no it's fucking, fucking sick is what it is. Like in the bad way, slash an egg. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? <laughs> yeah. Puts the cane slowly back on the floor and just sort of stares directly into your eyes, Gooblek, and he says, sort of ignoring oh, what you just said, Jay. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, how nice of you to return, Experiment 808. His name is Gooblek. Gooblek. So Gooblek. you've taken on an identity. I hope it wasn't too much trouble escorting my... Little one back home. He's not your little one anymore. Now I'm the family dog for Chip and Jay. What, you're supposed to be the doctor? And is it safe to assume that that, and I point towards the hourglass, is Celestine? Quite educated, the lot of you. I am... No. Doctor Ooze. And this, I suppose its name could be Celestine... A powerful being, isn't it? You can feel the magic radiate through the room. Splendid. And you do, like, recognize Jay and Chip that this sort of, like, magical energy that is emanating, like, just pulsing off this hourglass as it gyrates is very similar to uh, Grimm. It's still slightly stronger as much as it is weakening. And you can see that there is this... That magical energy travels throughout all the wires, including these really like thick tree trunk wires that sort of run in an X shape below the hourglass on the floor. I sort of look back towards Ch Chip to see where he's at with this right now. I look, I look pretty angry, um, just overall. So, to what do I owe the pleasure for your visit? I assume this means Gooblek. He says like a little hesitantly. Oh. Your job is complete. Gooblek unemployed? Do I, like, know what he means when he says my job? It fills you with this sense of, like, uh, fam familiarity, but you have this almost, in, like, relation to, like, amnesia sort of sense where you don't know exactly oh, what he's talking shit. about, but deep down, you do feel kind of what he's talking about, but uh, if you want to roll, I just go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw. Okay. 17. So with this... Nothing um, inside you like uh, like changes personality and goals, morals wise, whatever ideals Goop like has. Oh God! But you do get the sense that you were created by this man in front of you. Yeah. One hundred percent. This is what humans would consider God to you, and oh, you were shit. created with a purpose. And he says, "What is me. my purpose?" About how many have you consumed? I am eager to know the amount. Can I roll a d100? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 90! Jay's eyes wide. Hang on! Consumed. Computing! Computing! 91! <laughs> well, we're here to... And I look over to Pretzel. Pretzel is um, still, oh. like I said, just like that little bit. On, it, on on her head is still kind of like puppety form or plushy form, but the rest of it is all good. But there seems to be this like cloudiness 
in the eyes, at least the other eyes, since you, the other, like the left eye is still, you know, puppet bead. The other eye is still kind of cloudy as if Pretzel can't like really see at the moment. We're here to get Pretzel fully back. Just sort of spinning. <laughs> it's almost. It, it looks kind of like a like a like a panic maneuver that Frog to do, where they just like spin around and around until someone gets them. <laughs> <laughs> just a Beyblade, yeah. Free Celestine, and probably kick your ass. Also Gublek. Yeah, that too. Interesting. We've only just met, and you are set on some sort of combat encounter <laughs> with me. And he sort of like. Uh, steps forward, like raises the chest, which increases his height in the fucking uh, lab coat billows, and you feel once again. Actually, you know what, Chip? You just you go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom save. I'm not good at those. I got an 18. An 18 passes. So you do feel this overwhelming presence. Like like this man is a conqueror. Like. If you fail that save, you would feel like a little pebble compared to a giant skyscraper. But you manage to shake it off because you have met a lot of things in your journey this far. You're a fucking and, bastard. <laughs> yeah, you're a bastard. You're haunted. Well, Anyways, so, and he says, we've only just met. I'm a bit disappointed. Well, I don't assume you're going to loosen your grip on this place without a little force. Oh, I mean, actually... I only need one thing, and I'm good to go. Exper- I'm, uh, Gublek, since your duty is complete with 91 consume, and I was hoping you would get that carnival master or ringleader with all that power inside of his soul, but 91 should suffice. Oh, cast off a many benefit, like dental. He uh, sort of like steps around this hourglass and if you guys wish, you kind of like follow like in parallel, but not getting any closer. Yeah, yeah. And he points over to this large, let's say futuristic electronic um, kitchen made machine. <laughs> anyway, so he points at this. I don't know how else to describe it, but it looks undescribable. It just looks like a giant machine. I pictured a blender. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> how about you just picture a very large blender? Anyway, so <laughs> it, it's filled with different sort of uh, uh, biomatter that you can't really, you know, tell what it is specifically. But he points at and he says, once Gublek enters the optimum xenogenic bioelectronic ooze transmutation processor, he says with much gumption, the final... <laughs> ingredient to create my new species will be added and I'll be on my way. No conflict. Gublek doesn't say anything, but he looks very, very nervously and shaking at whatever Jay is about to say. What is it you plan on doing with a new species? Quite inquisitive. I have been meaning excitedly been wanting to share about this. You see, this species, I'm sure you know Gublek by now, some of the interesting abilities he possesses. He turned into a cock once. Like a... <laughs> like, like a... How big? <laughs> um, I, I, look, I look in my Jesus, pants, I'm like... <laughs> I'm looking in my pants, I'm like... Eh. This species, young miss... Adequate uh, length, legendary girth. <laughs> like a Coke can, kinda. He pauses, waiting for you to say your name. Jay, if you, if uh, you wish. It says oh. Miss, um... Jay. I say kind of, like, hesitantly. Jay. Also, Jay, you would also notice that this kind of, like, disciplinary way of, of holding himself is similar to your father. I, I absolutely kind of got that vibe. Yeah. And he just says, this species is immune to poison, to disease, to any sort of affliction that could cause peril in a society, but not only is it immune to the falsehoods of being a creature in this universe, in this multiverse, it can spread its DNA to other living creatures and turn them into the same species until we are all the same. And Gublek, you reflect back to when you turn that little squirrel hybrid chimera yeah. into another Gublek. That's what he's talking about. Oh, no, Gublek already do that. Precisely. So once... So no blend. No blend. No. Once your potency as a plasma, as an ingredient, is added 
it will be enough to sustain the beginnings of these new, this new era of a race. So they're like some sort of zombie. They just run around and infect people and turn them into whatever they are. But what do the undead do, Jay? They kill and eat until life is no more. This species spreads life and essentially evolves pre-existing life. Stronger humans and the like. Immune to that which would keep us down. Okay, Jay, in eugenics. <laughs> and what happens to Gublek? Gublek, as my creation, will have served the greatest purpose and finish my research. My many years of experimentation. Oh. That eh. is his destiny. Destiny's kind of funny that way. Sometimes destiny's not all cracked up what it's cracked up to be. Quite a simple proposition. Gublek, finish your duty and we will be on our way. And then this castle and this archway and whatever you wish to do with your meager existence can continue on undisturbed for now. I take I take Gillian's sword, flip it up, and then slam it down into the ground in front of Gublek between them. I don't think so. I disagree with the entire foundation of everything you're doing. You want to take everything that's beautiful in this world and change it into, into one little ooze? I mean, Gublek, you're awesome, but like everything doesn't cool. need to be a plasmoid. This world is wonderful because of everything in it, the diversity, the people that I meet, if everybody was the same, that would be boring. I understand your hesitations, but people will not be the same as we have the ability to change our shape, to become whatever we wish people will be the most free in this universe that they've ever been. Oh yeah, actually that's based as fuck, let's do this. <laughs> I'm joking, not real. <laughs> I knew you'd come around. He pulls out like a syringe. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, shit. No, I changed my mind. Fuck that. I was joking. It was a joke. Gublek sees that Jay and Chip are confronting this guy, and Gublek turns around to Felipe. Felipe, you number one Gublek friend. Do you think everyone. Uh -huh. Do you think everyone should be free and flexible and. Uh, woo? And do you think maybe. That what Jay say is right. Maybe we all just experiences, and I saw many experiences, 91 experiences. Maybe uh, I'm not even go black. There's a lot of people with you about. Felipe, <sighs> what my uh, destiny? Oh, fuck, what is hey, Did you guys ever indoctrinate uh, Felipe with the oath? We haven't yet. I actually don't think so. Fuck, I don't, dude, I really want to see something cool here, but I've never heard it. So, uh, <laughs> you know what? In the spirit of, uh, f that fucking idiot. Ugh, fuck shit. Gublek, your destiny yes. is whatever you want, man. Fuck shit up, dude. That's what we're here for. That's what we came for. We just come down. We get down. We brush it down. We fuck shit up, dude. And then maybe along the way, some people get helped out, man. That's what I did back at the, at the, 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 the fucking city I lived in, man. That's what I did back at the, uh, when I was giving people tours, man, after my, after my third day of life. He's just like whispering to you like it's like a, like a, like a boxing coach sort of helping. Do you think, do you think I help? Chip and Jay and fully pay, or do you think I help? And then he looks at the blender. Everyone. Ugh, I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about, man. My brain cells are like maybe you can count them on one hand, but you have to do whatever you think is the correct thing to do if you were to carry out this purpose of becoming goo and being blended into this like fucking ooze or whatever, and then everybody gets turned into a gooblack, you know? I don't mind being like a gooblack, dude. You can do some pretty cool shit. But at the same time, if you just want to be a gooblack and you don't want to be told what to do by the fucking man, and he points at him, then make your own choices, you know? This, I mean, this could all be over if you go in there, or we could we could fight for your, your free will, I guess. What do you want? I'm gonna roll a die. I'm not gonna tell you what, what is gonna be what, and it's not gonna be even, but I'm gonna roll a die. Kublik, want new mission? Kublik want to be best pirate 
world has ever seen. <laughs> you see, as he like bounces up and bounces between Chip and Jay. Riptide Pirates on three. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Are you counting? Who's counting? One. Three. Oh, what? Riptide Pirates. Riptide Pirates. Riptide Pirates. Riptide Pirates. Okay. <laughs> and you see as out of the ooze, he's going to make like a shitty little pirate hat with like Aww. a little green skull and crossbones on it. I get the sense you that, that you guys are preparing to fight him. Yeah. Yes. I want to. Okay. See that, Doc? He's a Riptide Pirate now. And that means he's going to fuck shit up. He sort of like squints the eyes, and that, and and when he squints, it only is that one golden piercing light that seems to like streak as he moves his head forward, and he says, "I can't see them, not disappointed, but I'm also ecstatic. You see, I've been looking for a few strong, powerful beings too." And he starts stretching, cracking all of his bones to really test out these new. Upgrades. Well, you found him. And with that, give him your best shot. All of your old initiative. Kublek says, all of those upgrades. And you see as eyes begin to open all over of, all over him, glowing this vibrant green, and these tendrils begin to descend out from under him, creating these various uh, uh, scythes and blades. And you still looking like shit. <laughs> the Dr. Ooze... Like one of the eyes raises, like like widens, like a fucking crazy uh, mad genius. Oh shit! And he yeah. just like he, he smiles at your retort because he's actually he looks at you with this sense of like proudness for something he's made and how far it's developed. Oh, actually, hang on. Gublek has just gone through a long rest, right? Yes. When I finish a long rest, I get to choose a damage type that my manifest blow does. So, you guys are gonna mm -hmm. see as he sort of has had this like this this almost bubbling coming off the tips of these weapons and you see when these eyes open it's almost like a jolt runs through him upon remembering all this stuff and choosing a side and this green electricity like crackles out onto his body and onto these blades with this newfound energy he has and now it's gonna do lightning damage instead of acid damage cool kubak what was your uh initiative 17. Man, that was such an innocent question, too. I wasn't going to give Gublek away. I just wanted to know. <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time about how you guys are talking to Gublek. Yeah. In terms of, in terms of yeah, if this kind of situation happens. I just pet you and called you a good boy, and you would t stab me in the back. <laughs> he wouldn't stab you in the back. He would think that he was helping you. Mm. It's basically however much you, you valued his individuality and who he was. I see. Out of 10, how did we do? <laughs> Not super great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You you basically told him to leave and fuck off last episode. Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, and you guys have been super focused on Gillian. The time you liked him the most was when he pretended to be someone else. So, uh, not not super awesome. <laughs> That's yeah. why his best friend's Felipe, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Listen, you came in at a very tumult tumultuous time. Well, you also just came across the most selfish little brat in the in the sea. True. Yeah. Okay. So. This is the start of combat now, and in front of you, you see, again, like I said, this sort of, like, one of the eyes widens like a crazy mad genius as he smiles when Goob, like, uh, 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 basically roasts his ass straight up fire on him. Uh, first up is gonna be Jay, and he just sort of stands there at first, almost as if he's beckoning you to try. That's never good. <laughs> if you guys have any more questions or statements, feel free to talk during combat on any okay. round. There's there's no limitation. You don't have to wait till mm. your turn. You can just speak. My God, he has one bajillion go points. <laughs> one bajillion. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> one bajillion. The way that could be right. So to start, Jay is gonna like flip up a coin and it's gonna sort of like zoom, like it's gonna f kind of float in the air for a second, sort of magnetically attached to this guy. Just in front of him, there's like a giant mark on him now, uh, and I use Hunter's mark on him. And with that, I unsheath, I unholster, unholster my gun, and I'm gonna pop two shots off of him. Yep. Nice. I'm gonna hammer it. Off. The uh, goo bullets are magical, right? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, they would be. No, that's Thanks. what we said, is it was magical, because it was my like magical strikes. Yeah. Yes. That's why we did it. Okay, make sure to mark off how many bullets you've used. Yeah, how many did I get? I think I got ten, right? I think it was I think it was only like six or something. How many was it? Was it was five or it was five or ten. I'm gonna say five, because that's more balanced. <laughs> okay, let's do five. <laughs> so twenty and twenty-one to hit. Yeah, both of those hit. Go ahead. Uh you said two D six, right? Yeah, yeah. Well you so you get 
2d6 extra lightning damage total on, on both of those. Damn, that's crazy. That's 33 damage with the first shot. Yeah. Woo! How? The revolvers do 2d4. What the 2D4. fuck? That ain't balance. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, and second shot. Revolver does 2d8? Bro, we should all get guns, bro. <laughs> fuck Gillian Sword. What the fuck hell? Swords. That's awesome. Fuck Swords. Welcome to Pirate World, bro. 13 plus 14, 27. Let's just let Jay fight all our guys. So <laughs> this is great. No, no, that's straight up. It's my hunter's mark, which procs every time I hit. And yeah. I have Colossal Slayer, which is anybody who's underneath our max health gets a plus yeah, one. I want you guys. I want you guys to be powerful because it's cool as fuck that you guys are just pirates from another world. You pull out a gun, you just shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, yeah, I, I, bam, kinda, bam. I I pull out a gun. I fan the hammer twice and shoot. They go like up. One goes to the left. One goes to the right, and they like freeze and zoom towards where that coin was. Okay, so as he gets shot, you watch as the bullets like pierce through him, and you see them like shoot through uh, both of his shoulder blades, and they get stuck in this purple ooze behind him, and then that thing slinks back almost like it's elastic, and the bullets fall out, but you see this sort of like ooze drip out of those bullet wounds. Oh, I thought they were oh. gonna fly back at us, guys. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. not that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Not that time. <laughs> Not that time. <laughs> if you have anything else you want to do, Jay? Uh, I believe like that's next. everything. Yeah, I've got okay. nothing. I'm going to extend out uh, these arms and pump a lot of my goo into them and make these basically big clawed hands that I shoot out uh, 10 feet in front of me. And I'm going to go and try and something we've never done before and just roll with it Riptide. I'm going to try and shove him. <laughs> Oh. Okay. As I try and push him, so it's same grappling rules, athletics or acrobatics contested, and if he fails, I'm just gonna knock him prone, basically. I got a fucking natural 20, that is a 29. <laughs> okay, yeah. you said I had to roll oh. something, a save? The good athletics, prone? It's athletics or acrobatics, like it's like a, yeah, it's like the, what the grapple check would be. Yeah, contested. Okay, so, you, so you need to beat right. a 29. 29 with athletics or acrobatics. Or acrobatics. He rolled 25. Yeah. All right. He gets. He's very strong, but you do push him over. He's fucking like beat. Yeah. There's a lot of resistance when I push, and you see is almost from it's where like I'm you're, pushing. Yeah. yeah like you cracks like a start rock. to form. Yeah. Um, and I knock him over in this big wave of goo, and I want to use my second attack to try and grapple him on the ground. So like okay. try and basically, I, I, y'all, you almost see like the goo start to harden around him. I'm gonna try and kind of pin him down. So it's another athletics or acrobatics check. I got a 19. I'm going to use reflexive adaptation, which I just got at level 11, to roll one more. Fuck. All right, Max, best I got is a 19. I rolled a natural 19, so there's no way he fails, unfortunately. Fuck, yeah, uh, he easily just bursts it off as these globs go flying everywhere. Yeah, as soon as you slap your hands on him to push, there's almost like this concussive burst yeah. of, 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 of like a wind blast between you two that like snaps throughout the entire room and you go to grapple him, but that, that force was enough to just sort of like push him away and he got knocked prone, right? Uh, he's prone, but he's not, he's not grappled. Uh, he's 10 feet away from okay, me. Okay, so 10 feet away, yeah. he sort of gets knocked, uh, uh, like, almost like sent flying back, and he gets, like, sent on his back, um, and there's mm -hmm. this sort of, like, <laughs> like, he's laughing about it, he fucking loves it. Anyways, next up, he's going to use... Uh, I was gonna say, I'm actually really scared, so I'm gonna use my bonus action to use... God, what is it? Uh, I called it wobbling defense. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a bonus action to take the dodge action, mm. uh, as a monk. So he has disadvantage against me. Gublek basically splits off into like three separate Gubleks that just start like moving back and forth really fast. Okay, remind me how many key points do you have total? 11 and I just used two. When you extend your reach, you use one of the key points to do five feet or 10 my, feet? My, my reach is defaultly 10 feet. Right. I can use a key point to extend it five feet further and I can do that to a maximum of like 25 feet or something. So I all, so Gublek basically is like a reach weapon. You know what I mean? Yep. So like, yeah, he yeah. always has 10 feet, yeah. So Chip, it's your turn. He uses uh, legend one legendary action this round to stand up. Mm. He'll move uh, about five feet closer, and that Eight. is his, um, actually, I think you can only do one thing with the legendary action move, so yeah. he'll just stand up. Before I do anything, I want to clarify what um, what is there, because it might just be my imagination, but I believe you said there were pipes. So extremely um, thick industrial pipes that crawl up the wall. They are attached yes. to the wall, fixated to the wall. Yeah, cool. like bolted. But, what, but if but if there was steam in the pipes, would there be would there be steam in the pipes? <laughs> this is crazy, dude. <laughs> um, I want okay. All I want to do is is 
stab into the pipe and fill the room with steam. That's like for my action. That is what I want to do. If I can't do that, I will okay. do something else. That's why I'm asking you. You can use your action to stab into the steam. I'm not going to tell you what's in the pipes. Let's hope these pipes are full of steam. Could he do a check, like a knowledge check? You can. <laughs> what I was saying is you can stab yeah, into the pipes, but I won't tell you what's in them. First thing I would want to do is is look at the pipes and maybe discern what might be in them. The pipes climbing up the walls. All right, just roll perception. That is a 19. With a 19, you can uh, tell that the, the, you did hear steam, but most of it is coming from the different machines that are scattered around the room, and some of them are even attached to the walls. These pipes seem to be dripping that sort of like purple liquid. Ooh, yucky. Okay, so not going to try and fill the room with steam. Instead, I am going to, with this sword kind of on the ground, I want to kick it up over into the air, hold it on my left shoulder, and I want to try and, and maybe use these pipes to get a little higher up, really just for flavor to, like, kick off of one of the pipes, grab onto another, like, just a little hold. You can grab, like, a wire because there's tons of them hanging sure, out. Sure, sure, yeah, just grab up Cars onto a wire, swing off, do two steps off oh. of the wall, and then pull the sword up and yeah. over and slash it down onto this guy. All right, bet, yeah, all that flavor is good. I should make you roll acrobatics, <laughs> but I think I'll just let you flavor it. Next ooh, time when you ooh, do some crazy ooh, shit, I'm going to make you roll acrobatics. Hear me out. Hear me out on this. Hear me out on this DM. Acrobatics check. If he passes, he gets advantage. Thoughts? Yeah, sure. All right. Acrobatics check, but um, with all the things that you said you did, probably DC around 15. Okay. But if I fail, do I get disadvantage? Yes, that's yeah. the, that's the gamble. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I only have an acrobatics of three. I don't know why you're gonna, I do this No, stuff. dude, you're going to pop you're off. Pop this is going to be sick. Watch this. Okay, DC 15. Say, DC watch this. 15. Say, say watch this before you roll it. No, because I will fuck up. It's 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 climbing. It's swinging. Uh, yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> I failed. I failed. I failed. All right. <laughs> fuck you, Charlie. So just roll a hit with this advantage. You did this to me. What do you want from me? You did this to me. You did it. Please tell me you at least put your armor on. You did. Eleven. <laughs> yes, I like to imagine he's like he's like <laughs> falling through the air, then he just like falls backwards. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> my, my shit catches on some of the wires. So I like you can close that fucking <laughs> hit the ground. It's like a full like total wipeout, like four seconds of falling and just like. <laughs> Between shit. Yeah, unfortunately you miss. All right, or you 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 rag you ragdoll. You don't miss because you're bad. You just miss because you ragdoll. Okay. Maybe everyone needs to be go back after all. <laughs> I'm going to, with my bonus action, get up and hide. You got um, within five feet of him, and you're gonna move away. No. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you move away to go and hide, you're going to take an opportunity attack as a reaction. I do you have to hit? Do you have to hit won't. your attack on him to get yeah. your thingamajig? Ah, shit. Okay. In that case, it's not great either way. He uses a legendary action. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as you end your turn within five feet. Okay. Well, I rolled a four. That's an 11. Oh, bro. You just barely miss, and you're like sort of like hands on the ground with the sword, and then you notice that your hands are in this like purple liquid that looks like goo black, and you see that it's sort of leaking underneath the pant leg, and then it just very quickly sort of solidifies and begins to wrap around your entire body. You got a little bit of pre going. Charlie. <laughs> a little Why bit would you of pre. Say that? pre. So you take 12 points of acid damage and you have been engulfed. So not only can you not breathe, you're restrained. I love my life. And you all of you see this. It just sort of leaks out and then sort of engulfs. Gross. Engulfs, engulfs Chip right next to him. And he doesn't even look at Chip. I mean, he dodges and looks at him, but he doesn't even look down at his leg or anything like that. It's almost looked like it's happening biomechanically, if that makes sense. Oh, I see, like automatically or something. Yeah, okay. without his, yeah. Mm, all right. So next up in that case is going to be Felipe. Of course, Felipe's not gonna let you go down like that. So on Felipe's turn, he knows he's not strong enough to pull you out himself. So he's gonna take the help action and essentially like wait until your turn to assist you to escape if you choose to do so. He's like, uh, grab my head, Chip. Grab, oh my fucking God, he's gonna eat you. Ah, ah, ah. He's like freaking out. Like both of his, his legs are like going up and down. Like he's freaking out like a fucking uh, comical cartoon frog. He's like, oh my fucking God. He's like holding his hand out. Okay, that's the end of his turn. Next is Dr. Ooze. And when he does, as Chip is being sort of, uh, you know, <laughs> dissolved, <laughs> he holds out his staff, the staff with the two snakes that sort of like wrap around it, the golden snakes. And then both of them, both of those snakes begin to move until they sort of like come out. And then two of them shoot out towards 
Jay, who is the furthest away, right? Who yeah. shot him with a gun. Yep. And he's going to roll the hit with that. Protect Jay at all costs. 13 to hit, I, assuming that does not hit. That does not hit, no. Which means you're able to dodge out of the way and just sort of barely miss these snakes that come for you. And then they sort of retract into the cane once again. And he uses his other arm to... Um, you're only 10 feet away from him, Gublek? Yeah, it'll only be 10 feet. You watch as the arm sort of like a little bit of it leaks out and it seems to it very fast, almost like a sonic punch snaps, <laughs> but it shit. reaches much further than you were expecting uh, and it's going to be able to make it to you. I'll just roll to hit that. Roll a disadvantage as well because I'm taking the dodge right. action. 14 to hit. I rolled really low. I don't think does, it's going to hit anyways. Does not hit, no. All right, so uh, that's going to be the end of his turn there. I just and, make uh, a hole in myself <laughs> as it blasts through and protracts. <laughs> Does anybody say anything before the the initiative sort of restarts here? He just sort of like chuckles to all of you. He's just throwing things out here. It's not like he's putting in much of an effort yet. Yeah, I'll say something. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down and he says, Oh, didn't see you there. Quite a beautiful polished floors, isn't it? Uh, he's waiting for you to say your name. <laughs> uh, he just like nods at you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like Jay sort of like falls to the ground to like dodge this, and as she does, she and she's standing up. She reaches into her pocket and pulls out four bullets and also the packet of black sand. And she flips okay. the bullets open, and she's gonna dump like a bit into each one and close them up and load them into a revolver and just aim true. Nice. And I'm going to cast. So coated goo bled goo blow Holy bullets shit. into the black sand. Into the revolver, the absolute crazy cracked crafted mixture. What's gonna happen? Did and you even I hit cast those? Scorching Ray <laughs> at third level. Is that a save or a hit? It's to hit. So okay. Uh, I get four of these. Four of them. First one is twenty-four. That hits. Second one is thirteen. That misses. Damn, that's ten. That misses. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen just misses. Damn it. Fuck. Only one. Oh, anyway. dude, is there... Hey, uh, can I give you, like, DM inspiration? Yeah, hey, do it, I'll man. give you DM inspiration. On one of them? For using the black sand. Awesome. Yeah, okay. on one of them. Surely this rolls better. That's a 20, 30. Yes! Okay, two okay, of them hit. hit. So two of them hit. Okay. Go for it. She pulls out the gun, and she shoots four times straight at him. Instead of bullets coming out, these just insane explosions like like imagine just this red line kind of goes straight where it's going and then the red line starts exploding as it goes across oh that's awesome um, and it's gonna absolutely do absolutely awesome 7 14 plus 1d8 for the arcane spell casting thing surely add the 2d6 for goo black bullets yes surely yeah, goo black bullets uh, Ooh, 2d6 is quite a blah isn't it that huh? is uh, so that's 6 <laughs> plus 14 20 damage 20 damage, all right. Is that it, or is there the other one? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to rethink my strategy. I <laughs> need to start saying no. I believe <laughs> all I can do right now. No, dude, I just say yes and make the enemy stronger. That's that's the way, man. <laughs> Demon advice, bro? Get out. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some magic stones for the shits of it. I don't know if I'll ever use them, but that's fun. I, I just turned some stones magical in my pocket. If that's the end of your turn, yes. Gublek, you are up next. Jay! Feed me the special sand. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Can I wait? Can I do that as a bonus action, like instead of the magic stones? I guess this is this is just flavor. Uh, yeah, I'll allow. I mean, I'll yeah. allow. It. Yeah, sure. Go for it. You can have magic stones as well. This is on his turn. Just say this is his object interaction. Gublek, yeah, Gublek, like opens his mouth wide, like over his basically whole face. You see his eyes on like the back of his head. Yo, fuck it. I'm gonna say I have like some magic, some of the black sand and like little little capsules, like little little balls. And I yeah, love so one you put into them into vials mouth. and stuff. Yeah, some vials you picked up in the laboratory on your way through. I just lob one into into Gublek. Do I need to aim for that, or does it just go? In? Nope. Awesome. No, I just say you guys get it. <laughs> the difference between me and your friend Gillian. We both love eating sand, but I digest it! <laughs> and you see, as I'm going to activate Gublek's Eldritch Claw tattoo, but what you see is you see the bright flare of combustion inside of him as this you start seeing these small explosions that work their way down onto the tendrils, and you see as his eyes become the shape of like stars that are like combusting um, <laughs> <laughs> and now he has these like big exploding tendrils and he's gonna go for can i try and break chip out with an attack uh no it's gonna be strength no matter what that's just how it works 
Damn, all right, I'm not strong. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna try and beat the shit out of this guy. So I'm gonna take my two attacks. First one's a 20 to hit. Second one's- That hits. Only a 13. That misses. Okay. Just whiffs. Yeah. Whiffs is a better word. Uh, this first thing, absolutely, you see as the goo at the end, like, starts to expand with a pressure, and as soon as it cracks against his head, explodes into this black powder, um, which detonates further. And that's gonna do 10 magical bludgeoning plus seven lightning, 18 damage, and I'm gonna use flurry of blows. Okay, all of your, all, everyone's attacks has been magical so far, correct? Yeah. <laughs> good, 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 Okay. Do I, do, you have, do I get any extra damage from black powder? I don't fucking know. Uh, wasn't it, it was just flavor, wasn't it? It's for just your, kind of flavor, I imagine. Your allergy yeah. too? All right, my two extra attacks with flurry are an 18, or sorry, a 28 and a 26. Both of those hit, absolutely. Okay. Tell me total damage at the very end. 48. 48 total damage. Yeah, out of all wow. of those times. Wow! And Gublek um, is going to take his 50 feet of movement and he is going to whoop, <laughs> zip off over and around, if I can, jumping like onto the hourglass. So I'm looking at him like through the hour hourglass. So if he'd okay. want to hit me, he'd need to like hit the hourglass, if that makes sense. Yeah, I guess you. And you punched yep. from 10 feet away, right? So you never got within five feet? Exactly, yeah. Gotcha, cool. And then I, then I dip out. Uh, that is gonna end my turn. So you rush around, you sort yeah. of circle around, it takes your entire movement, this is a big for fucking room, yeah. and you're on the other side now, through the hourglass, and once again you see that very elegant, exquisite, tall as well, slender, slender-framed archfey that you would recognize, not recognize, but you'd know it's Celestine, who's just like, almost like sleeping in there, with the hourglass, like, wrapping around her figure. He does get an attack if it's within 10 feet, yeah. yeah. Okay, I was wrong. It is the reach of the character. So he does okay, get, as as I run around, yeah, you could say that All one, right. he like fucking fires off a heat-seeking goo goo <laughs> cat tendril. Well, his, yeah, again, once again, his fists are like, they like snap and they go really far. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just roll it real quick. 16 to hit. Does not hit. Barely misses. Okay. All right, yep. I didn't think so. All right, so it misses. It whiffs and you get away. <laughs> All right, so next up, he's going to take a legendary action. You don't have to! You don't have to! No pressure! No pressure for that! <laughs> it is a wisdom save. So, Chip, go ahead with this legendary action as you're sort of uh, struggling to just survive and breathe inside of this uh, this purple ooze that is engulfing you. Make a wisdom saving throw. If you close your eyes, you are already a part of him! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh! oh. It was on a 19 oh my and God. it sat on the 19 oh and it went God. Oh no. onto a 3. <laughs> A three. a three! I hate that for you. Because of your background, the haunted one, you're not going to take full damage. Holy shit. If that makes sense. I'll yeah. tell you Lucky. what happens. You feel like this ooze that is engulfing your body. It's actually starting to get more and more around like your legs and stuff. You feel it almost inject into your skin like needles. Ugh. And in your mind's eye, your whole vision starts to cloud and you begin to like see these memories that aren't yours out of nowhere as you're, uh, and you can't see anything else. And it's almost like you're watching like cinema. And what you see is a, almost like Greek Athens inspired styled city, but it's in flames. The surrounding area is dark. The night sky is pitch black and you just see smoke billowing into the roads that have been cracked and exploded. And there's just a bunch of fire. And another thing that you would witness is this sort of like strange biomatter growth almost like red, fleshy, orange bubbling um, growth that is just sort of surrounding and climbing up these cracked buildings. There's people running down these streets screaming and, and you watch as just a, a, a mother and child, the mother just drops, still carrying the child, but the mother's dead. She just drops right there and you're just like laying on the ground sort of trying to crawl your way down this road. And it's just, all these memories are just flooding into your brain, searing your mind. And these memories, now stick with you, even though you kn you know they aren't yours, you cannot forget them. You're going to take, this isn't the most horrifying thing you see, so instead of taking 30 damage, you're going to take 15 psychic damage. Yeah, that's fucked. Anyways, so that's what happens to you. Next up is your turn chip. This is similar to, uh, of course, when Gublek bestowed memories upon you, mm -hmm. except this was horrifying and painful. Uh, so I'm just gonna roll strength. Got a seven. But Felipe's helping me. Yep, so you get advantage because Felipe's trying to help you. 
Okay, well, I get to roll again. That was a natural one. Oh my god. Bro, oh my god. You're gonna Highest be so- roll. You're gonna be changed when you get out of that goo, bro. I guess you can't do anything else. You're gonna end your turn still stuck inside this ooze. It is still searing your skin as it begins, like, you're, you can feel your skin start to bubble in a way, and you take 26 points of acid oh damage. Oh my god. Whoa. Is he different? Can he different that? <laughs> I can't different that. You are- you feel yourself being absorbed. That's half my health, bro. Yeah, Felipe is actually this time going to try and pull you out. Hopefully he rolls good. Yeah, right. He'd have to roll like a natural 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. Um, yeah, okay. Here we go. Let's go, Felipe. Let's go, Felipe. He rolled a 17, Let's bro. Let's go, Felipe. He rolled an 18 minus one. Felipe looks minus at you one, being bro. absolutely, like your, your, your eyes are starting to squint and fade as you're just getting absolutely absorbed. You're just trying to squirm the squirm and stop. He grabs your feet and he like uses his little frog legs and then bounces out and you get dragged or, or you get uh, freed from the ooze that is leaking around. You guys get, uh, you're probably about like 10 feet back from, Actually, you probably have to stay within five feet of him. But anyways, it looks cool. You jump really high <laughs> up and then you land on the ground. You're free of the absorb. That's Felipe's turn. Hot back on the ground. Oh, oh, Felipe, I've seen some things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 dude. I got a fucking believe you just what I just did. Oh my mass, God, I'm a hero. Mass, I mass, saved your ass. Mass. I fucking saved you, dude. You owe me. You owe me life right now, man. I, gr I grab his face and I pull it up to mine. <laughs> Oh, oh, you fucking owe it, dude. Like 1,200 gold. Mass. <laughs> what? What did you say? The pulsing mass. Oh. oh. He looks at you and he's terrified. Believe it rolls a wisdom save. <laughs> I look no different than normal because I'm always You're fucking. Always he's like that. He succeeds. He succeeds. He's not frightened of you. Uh, anyways, uh, next up after Felipe is going to be Dr. Ooze. Now, Gublek, you are at least 30 feet away on the opposite side right now. Yeah. Jay, you are. Within how many? How much? Uh, wherever we would have started at, so probably. So you're still feet. about like 15, 20. Yeah, 15, feet 20 away. feet. Yeah. I actually, I think I actually said 20 feet. Yeah, I don't that remember, works. But it is about your. You did say 15, 20, 20 feet, feet from the uh, hourglass, so that's where it'd be still. I haven't really moved since yeah. then. And Chip is right next to him with Felipe. So with one of his arms, he's just going to smack down, hit Chip as he's like sort of on the ground next to Felipe. With the other arm, he once again extends his cane towards you, and those snakes uh, shoot out and try and wrap you up. Jay, I don't think they could actually, could they? They could reach Gublek. It just might be a little difficult with the gyrating hourglass. So I think I think for now it'll be Jay, because he can tell that Gublek likes them. For Chip, the attack is 23 to hit. Ooh. And for Jay... 14, bro, these dice, dude. Nothing is rolling Ooh. right today. Super against Chip. I don't mean to single you out, bro. The stakes sort of zip out. No, it's okay. And they pass both Perfect of your, point. like, both of them split and they pass your head, but you manage to duck before they seem to, like, sort of wrap around and try and grab you, almost like a lasso in a sense. But Chip, you do get slapped, um, and you are going to take seven points of bludgeoning damage plus an extra six points of poison damage. So 13 total? Mm-hmm. And uh, for now, that's his turn. So okay. top of the round, Jay. Uh, you can tell that when Goob like slapped him earlier, and we you, and you've been like doing your attacks as well, that these sort of like the purple veins that are on his head almost seem to widen, like cracks being made worse, and the oh, purple ooze is just sort of dripping out from underneath. Okay, uh, Jay sort of just as flavor. I'm not actually moving, but she sort of like dashes to the side to dodge these snakes, and she's gonna take off her sort of like hip sack, whatever you want to call it. What she has a fucking uh, the bag around her hip, and she's gonna throw it yeah. like it, in a centralized location near uh, near everybody, and yell to Chip. Chip, you need to be more careful. I'm trying my get punched in the fucking face. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a hero. I'm a fucking hero. Um, Jay, did you see that shit? It was awesome. And Jay pulls out like a little. A a little button and she presses it and out of the bag sort of protrudes this little metal box that sort of starts shaking and then like this sort of like sound wave blast kind of hits everybody uh in the area and it is going to everybody gets 11 temporary hp everyone Whoa. including doctor not, not including doctors <laughs> all, all our allies. Holy shit. you would you would say that after he fucking punched me it's like blood just coming out of my nose and shit like all over yeah you I'm all guys would have also noticed that while chip was inside of that ooze whenever he was like getting absorbed and stuff the damage he took was 
repairing Dr. Ooze in some sort oh, of way. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, and that is my action and bonus action, so. The sound waves start to tear me apart like <laughs> venom. <laughs> I, yeah. I just start vibrating. Check your balls. This episode sponsored by Manscaped. Cause you look like an ape But they've got the precision trimming tools To get those grapes back in shape The Performance Package 4.0 There's things in it you should know Like the waterproof lawnmower With ceramic blades LED spotlight, weed whacker, nose and ear hair trimmer Ball the outer right, right. cut my sack I was all blood below the dick But then I tried their trimmer Now my testes are slick if you want to save your bow, well, go to Manscaped.com. And if you want to save 20% off, use our code JRWI. That's right. All you got to do to save your money and your balls is head over to Manscaped.com and use code JRWY. Not convinced? Well, there's some things I missed. Cause they use skin safe technology to help reduce necks. Before Manscaped, I was all blood below the dick. But then I bought their package, now my package is. Yeah, my package is slim! So if you want to save your balls, go to manscaped.com. Uh. Next up is going to be Kublik. And you get the sense that he is targeting these two, maybe in a way to get to you. I think that's exactly what he's doing. If you're going to run away and be intelligent. Yeah. Like So what I do is I look at him stage. and I look at the situation and I coil downwards and jump up, and I want to grab onto one of those tubes with that fluid in it. Jumping up, everything there is like wires and stuff. There oh, okay. are pipes on the ground and on the walls that would have fluid. Okay, I'm going to jump onto one of the pipes on the walls then. And you see as I reach out two arms that sharpen into like syringes. Prototype style? Prototype style. I want to jam them in, and I want to suck the goo out. <laughs> yeah, dude, go for it. What do you Fuck roll for yeah, that? Yeah, man. Can I make like attack attack rolls or something? I guess I'm just trying to like I'm basically trying to pierce the metal and like yeah, like absorb it. Yeah, dude. I mean, I just keep making abilities cannon, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is going to do, DM. It's just you know what? We're in a room full of goo. I'm goo. It's all fun and games. How about you just roll a hit to pierce the metal and then as okay. far as absorbing the goo, I don't yeah. I don't really know how that how that works. It doesn't exist in D and D. I can't just I can't just Google absorbing goo five E and get an answer. <laughs> I know. So, I'm just thinking if it all like you know what I mean. If it's you, all we'll just say if uh, let's see. I mean, material strength in five E. If you pierce this uh, these pipes, so go ahead and roll that. I got a sixteen and a thirteen. Okay, so neither of those hit. And neither oh, of those pierce it. Unfortunately, okay. I'm gonna look over nervously, and I'm gonna just bonus bonus action flurry of blows. I'm gonna try and do it again. Uh, go for it, yeah. 26. All right, that pierces. And 11, so I only get one. All right, you pierce one. I'll say you're able to suck up some goo. I'm not sure <laughs> for poor poor K. It is just the same as goo black goo. <laughs> I want um, to grow. Uh, roughly. <laughs> okay, you want to grow. I want to grow. I want to I wanna basically, like, you know, whatever is how this place is working, I want to make it not work, and I want to grow. Oh, uh, okay. So you like want to destroy like the machines and stuff, and you want to grow. I kind of do. Yeah. I mean, if it's pumping this stuff, I want it to not pump this stuff and take it. Okay. So here's what I'm saying. Google, like, roll a D100. Oh fuck. Okay. 44. So a 44. You're not gonna grow yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you do absorb some of that goo. 
nothing seems to happen yet, but you do feel like maybe with more of it, you could. But at the same time, with you piercing that hole, this like sort of like fountain of purple ooze begins to spew out on the other side of the chamber Excellent. now. Okay, okay, great. With that, Chip, you're up next. I am going to <sighs> trying to think of what of what Chip would really do right now. I think after getting punched in the face like that, I'm going to get up and try to run away. And that's it. Okay. I'll leave I'll be leaving. You're range. not gonna try and hit him or anything like that, and just gonna leave him. Just run, just running. All just right, running with blood like all over, like his nose and hands and stuff. I got a uh, natural twenty for opportunity oh attack. Oh my god! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh buddy. shit! You immediately I'm... start running away, and you feel like this almost like backhand slap on the back of your head, and it just like uh, it gives you this whiplash almost immediately. I'll tell you how much damage you take. You are able to run away though. Poor shit, bro. Poor Chip, he's really getting his shit, shit handed I know, he's getting his shit rocked, man. So, you take 14 bludgeoning damage and 22 poison damage. <gasps> oh, I thought it was okay! So I thought it was okay a, until he a said total, that! A total of what? 14 plus 22, 36. 36? I had 39 total HP plus, You're still able like to in, run away. Including including the temp HP. All right. Wait, are you not, are you not halving it? Oh. Oh, you're crazy. So he's beat, uh, you guys, I guess all of you would see that, except for Gublek, because you're pretty far away now on top yeah. of the wall. Jay, you notice the chips beat the fuck up. And Felipe's like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he's just like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. All right, uh, anyways, uh, how far do you just run your full movement, 30 feet or so? Yeah, I'm just gonna run my full 30. You're able to get to one of the I'll walls. Dash. Yeah. Uh, action dash, I'm 60 feet. I'm, all right, you're I'm 60 trying feet. to get as you're, far you're away from this like, fucking You're basically like, on the other possible. side now on the wall. Underneath Gublek with that pouring ooze going onto the floor at this moment. Well, thank God I gave you the temp HP, I guess. I'd be down. <laughs> yeah, you'd be, you'd be gone. With that, another legendary action. Uh-oh. But it's just him and Jay at the moment, face to face. Oh, he God. says, so, how is it in your world? Red flag! <laughs> Are there many strong humans such as you, Jay? She's like kind of breathing hard because she's been dodging and like moving around so much. And she's like, I'd say stronger. I've certainly seen stronger than you. With that legendary action, you almost, it seems like his form is like almost like flattens. Uh oh. And there's nowhere to be seen <laughs> as soon as you say that. Mark. And then you start to hear this and you feel the, the looming presence form behind you. Oh no. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you say you say that. It, it kind of does feel like your father. Um, <laughs> oh anyways, my god! It's almost it's so strange. It's almost like parallel universes in the, in the way that he's like the same sort of stature. But that's his legendary action. He's right behind you, uh -oh. within five feet. Now, it is Felipe's turn, right? So Felipe is just what the fuck can Felipe do, guys? What should Felipe do? Help me out. You got any funny uh, healing moves, Felipe? Huh? Who do I? Oh, actually, you know what? Ship, baby, come here, baby boy, <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> I'm running and like he can't even um, make it to you, bro. You're too fast. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking for like a place to hide, genuinely. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, you're just gonna start screaming, baby boy, and use all of his movement to get to you. Awesome. <laughs> he won't be able to reach you this turn, oh, but shit. actually, because it's 120 feet, you'll watch as uh, Felipe is running away. Uh, he can't bonus action dash mm -hmm. or anything like that. So wait, can he? Wait, can he? Does he have two rogue levels? He can take a cutting action and dash with bonus oh! action! Hell yeah! Oh my fucking god, he follows you with the bonus action. With his action, though, at second level, you watch as Felipe, a little glint in the eye, and he holds out his finger like a gun, and he goes, go big, big, big. <laughs> and he watches these fucking, <laughs> uh, like, almost like watery, uh, mixed with his, uh, his, like, saliva ickiness. Oh. Like this, oh. like, viscous okay. saliva. Right. Shoots out magically, like, little darts. Uh, three magic missiles get sent towards, um, the doctor. Incredible. Which is gonna be, uh, I think they just hit automatically, yeah? Yeah. That's three D4. Oh my god, it's a five max damage. Three, so eight. And then three again. So, minus eleven to the doctor. And that's going to bring it to the doctor's turn. Oh boy. Looming behind me menacingly. Looming behind you menacingly. First things first, he sort of almost wraps one of the arms around you and in front of you is the cane. There's those two snakes, those golden metal snakes. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom oh, saving off. throw. As these 
these emerald okay, gems seven. glow in their eyes. So I'm gonna roll a d4. You, you've been Jafar. It is almost like Jafar, dude. <laughs> oh man! I just watched Aladdin recently too. Maybe this is why. Exactly yeah. <laughs> anyway, so these golden, uh, or not golden, these green emerald eyes glow, and you immediately fall into this like trance. And I'm gonna roll a d4, God. and one is like the least worst effect. Four, unfortunately, is going to be the worst effect. I'll even roll this on d It's Jafar's very close cousin, Janir. Well, let's see what the worst effect is. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> so, he it. rolled a four. Yeah, that's oh, what, I, that's what I'm the worst talking effect. about. <laughs> okay. And I, you see it, Felipe rolled. So, you gain a point of exhaustion. Oh, that's rough. You said it could be worse? It could be. My ability checks are halved. And then, with the uh, other arm, you start to feel that ooze drip on your head as he's kind of like holding his hand up and it's just sort of leaking out. I just, I'm like kind of drowsing go off ahead, underneath yeah. him because of the exhaustion. Go ahead and make, you don't have disadvantage quite yet, uh -huh. but go ahead and make um, a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 19. Okay, nice. so with the 19, you don't get uh, grappled like or restrained. I'm sorry, you don't get restrained, you don't get engulfed, but you are getting like, this ooze is sort of like building up on your body, though nothing happens Okay. quite yet. Okay. You do get the sense, um, even though you have become exhausted, that it's a bad thing to be near him. Yeah. With that, next up is Jack. I kind of jaunt myself awake, or a little, like, out of the exhaustion a little bit. Your body feels so tired, yeah. like you just you just ran, like, five miles. That's what yeah. it feels like. Um, Straight, sprinting, yeah. I'm going to grab my revolver, and I'm going to load it up again with more bullets, just as flavor, because technically it's auto-reloading, but whatever, I want to do it. And I'm going to roll <laughs> the, uh, what's it called, the the spinny thing? Shit. The chamber? Yeah, I'm going to roll the chamber off of his, his cane as I start to run away and get at least 20 feet away from him. Uh, and I will take the opportunity to attack here. Yeah, luckily the round is restarted, so he has that reaction yes. back. <laughs> Another natural 20 on road. Oh, fucking. Bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fucking. That's crazy, Ouchie. dude. You know, in D and D one, they're getting rid of uh, enemy critical hits. So they can't. They... That's pretty cool. Maybe we should maybe play we test should, that. Maybe we should play test. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> lame as fuck, dude. <laughs> so you take uh, 14 bludgeoning damage plus mm -hmm. 22 points of poison damage. Ah. So yeah, you get twenty feet away. I get twenty feet away. He he slams me in the back. I stutter a little bit, and I'm going to kind of slide one of those out. Backhand, yeah. Head slaps. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna slide out like on my knee towards where my bag was, and the bag is gonna let out another sort of like aura around it, like the the sound. Yep. The sound wave. It is going to. I'm once again roll to roll the D8 <laughs> for the uh, oh, temporary it's 10. health points. It's just you, right? I think it's just me, unless Gubuck is within 10 feet of where the bag was. No. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, okay, so it's just me. Um, and that's my bonus action. For my action, first of all, I'm going to call, call it to Chip. I'm like, Chip, I need you here. Yeah, just give me a second. And uh, I, I'm on one knee, and I, I aim true, and I'm going to go ahead and go for two shots with my revolver on this guy. Okay. That's a 27 it's and a 24. Jay is soloing this guy. <laughs> Great. Yeah, basically. I mean, I'm loving this. Uh, so that's 19 plus 15 is 34 damage for the first hit. It's great. She gets to take out her daddy issues without confrontation. It's, it's so it's true. Wonderful. Uh, and that is just 17 for the second one. Wait, no, plus six. I got a plus six for the hunter's mark. 23. Okay. What the fuck even, dude? <laughs> I don't actually. Whenever you... my damage rolls are super good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please simplify. I'm getting lost in the amount of numbers. Okay. Being said. So <laughs> it is 34 plus 23, so 57 so, total. You didn't even use sharpshooter, did you? No, I didn't. I could have. <laughs> is that all your? Is that all your crazy bullets, though? Uh, no. I only use one of those per turn, so I have two more. Oh my god. As you get 20 feet away again, you run and you shoot. He. Uh, as much as his like sort of almost it looks like his flesh like a shell is just sort of cracking and breaking off mm -hmm. he l shouts out and says i've seen some of the things that boy that just ran away has been through and an interesting compatriot that a lot of you seem to be searching for can't imagine this i don't would have been a bit more interesting had he had been here <laughs> Though I will say I am quite impressed with your skills. If Gillian was here, not the others. You'd already be dead. And that is why I feel so unfulfilled. Knowing how good this test run, this trial of my power could have been. But this has sufficed thus far. 
You're serious, aren't you? The amount of power in your world. About, about, oh, yeah, no. Tell me. Greater than you could possibly imagine. What would you do if a force of unparalleled power consumed your home until it was nothing but a broken, dusty rock? I was going to say become an unmovable object, but, you know, it doesn't really work out here. Um. <laughs> if your home planet fell to disease, a disease that rotted its star to the core. And you see, like, there is this, like, sort of, like, twitching in his uh, Can I insight face. Check him? Yeah, roll it. You know, there a is a very one. nice carnival <laughs> for people that feel very lost like you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to insight him for, but you can I just like tell if he's that gone he's gone through this before. Yeah, he's speaking from experience, okay. Chip. You can hear him shouting this kind of thing at Jay, and those memories flash in your mind over and over again. And as you yell at Gublek, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suggest he joins the carnival. <laughs> I know much about that carnival. I'm the one that sent you there, Gublek. Oh! The amount of powerful <laughs> souls that enter, perfect for the harvest. <laughs> that carnival travels across the plains to the multitude and variety of the souls we obtain. I give myself a pat on the back for cleverness. And he uses his legendary action, and he's going to... <laughs> pat himself on the back. <laughs> yeah, he pat himself on the back. Actually, he pats himself on the back. I'm going to do it. He does it. He pats himself on the back. That's his legendary action. He's going to... I'm going to roll, bro. I'm going to roll. <laughs> Let's see how. <laughs> yeah, does, roll to see how good it is. Roll to see how good does it is. he bolster yeah, yeah. himself with this pat on the back? Absolutely. Hold on. Yeah, this is confidence. Let me. I'm this is actually like really a... funny. If he rolls a nat twenty, he just gets like thirty temporary hit points. He's just like, <laughs> yeah. all right, I'm really just. I'm freaking sick, man. <laughs> I was actually. I rolled a natural nineteen. Mm. So I'll just say he gets uh, nineteen hit points back. Oh, Damn, God, he healed himself. Hat. Shit, pure, through pure, just self confidence. <laughs> Absolutely, just proud, and he just—you can see that he's also like, uh, even with—I mean, your natural one doesn't even matter yeah. here because he's been proud to watch Gublek be this creature of like sentience, built from the plasma that he's made. <sighs> and anyways, so that's his legendary action that I was going to use to damage you, but instead didn't. So Gublek, it's your turn. I'm cool with that. Guys, we just need to keep coming up with shit to say right as he's about to say his thing. And as long as it's cool, we'll make him do it. Gublek is going to try and again, just looking frantically at the doctor, create another syringe and just try and get this other arm in there as well. Try and right. break through. Yep. You know yep, what yep, to yep. do. I, I have one in, I want the other in. You know what to do. 25. Woo. 25 hits, you get both arms in. Okay, all right. How Going much for the can absorb I again? <laughs> yeah. Roll a D100 once more. This okay. time, the amount you have to roll over is decreased because of the both arms. Okay, sick. So 91. Ooh, my amount of victims! <laughs> Gublek, I want you to level up. <laughs> As you grow, almost like a few, like a size larger almost. Not a size large, but you, get, you start to expand and you absorb this potent plasma that not only you are made out of, but this is this plasma itself inside of these tubes has evolved and been curated even more since your creation and you're absorbing it. Holy shit. Okay. I have become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Do I become physically bigger as well, by the way? You can be if you want. I wouldn't say you're bigger than medium size yet. This is not what I expected. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. That is going to end his turn. He's basically locking eyes with the doctor. But you see, as he's growing, I'm going to, uh, I mean, I don't know if I can say this. I would say if Jay and Chip are watching, they would notice that he does have another eye open watching the hourglass with Celestine in it. Also seems to be in a deep sleep still. Yeah. You can tell the, the magic is draining. It's powering the liquid that is inside of this tube. You can tell that the yeah. that whatever you're absorbing is is filled with arcane energy. That That's probably my turn, um, because it's yeah, pretty crazy. It's pretty uh, yeah, that, that'll end my turn. Okay, All cool. right, I'll let you use the rest of the round and stuff to figure out Sounds what you're going to do. After that, of course, Jay, you only ran 20 feet away? I only ran 20 feet, yes. Okay, secondary, second legendary action. Eek. 
Natural fucking 20! I shouldn't be popping Christ! Up. Oh my god! Why is it Sorry. only on attacks? Oh my god. Please stop. <laughs> it's not an attack. This time, oh. the snakes actually succeed. And, oh um, wait, is there? They, is it? Is it twenty? Like, is it a dirty? Is it, like, is there any uh, modifiers to that twenty? Is, no, 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 no. It's it's a it's a straight up natural like twenty. Like yeah, I rolled the twenty on the die. Oh I used God. shield and then had a twenty for my AC. Would that do anything oh, for me? Oh, it would be a twenty nine. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, so here's what's gonna happen. You take seven points of like this sort of like constricting bludgeoning damage as these metal snakes wrap around you and sort of squeeze your arms together, uh -huh. and then you feel yourself get yanked back. Oh, fuck my life. And you are grappled. So now you are once again right next to Dr. Ooze, and he sort of just quietly whispers, Isn't it marvelous? You see, as the plasma that Gublek is made out of mixes with the plasma, imbued with the power of the Archfey, causing him to grow, the reaction here is groundbreaking. I'd say it's rather awful. Well, you don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, next up is going to be Chip. I look over to Jay. As I as I kind of run away, I lean up against the wall for a second, just breathing really heavily. I wipe my nose and everything, and I'm I'm holding this sword. I look over, and I would I would see <laughs> Jay. Baby boy. boy. Felipe. He's like 30 feet away. So, oh, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> he's like running towards you, but yeah. Oh no, sorry. He's only 10 feet away, so I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> I would see Jay being grappled, right? Uh, you can move and look around the hourglass since you're on the opposite side and see that, yeah. Yeah, Jay, Jay who just called for me, I'd, I'd, I'd move over and look around to see You know that. what happened to you when you were absorbed in this goose. You know you don't want it to happen to her. I want to grab the sword, kind of pull it back behind me and just let it scrape across the ground. Uh, because you ran so far away, though, I don't know if you're going to be able to make it to Dr. I can Uzumir. bonus action dash back, so it's like... Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you pass Felipe, who's trying to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, dude! Um, <laughs> I can't run that fast! <laughs> I think he's also still exhausted. Wait, no, he got a long rest. He's just one point. Wait, how many points? Two points now? Probably two points of exhaustion on Felipe. Motherfucker! I just want to understand something. If I cast Glacial Blade, does that actually, like... Can I, do I do my full weapon damage as well, or is it just... Charlie? Yeah, you do. And you can do sneak attack on it as well. Okay, okay. So, as I'm running towards the doctor, this yeah, yeah. Destiny's Blade scraping against the ground. Hell yeah, bro. Uh, running past all of this machinery, I want maybe for the steam to start moving towards the blade, whir whirring around it, hardening with an ice. And as I'm running towards him, I would just say, let her go! And then All right. run up and slash down onto him. Oh, Ooh. that's a 22. <laughs> a 22? Here's what I yeah. say, bro. I'm gonna give you uh, inspiration so that you can roll with advantage. That's it awesome. It doesn't hit? No, 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 just roll with advantage from the okay. inspiration. Okay. From the, uh, the fact that you are running into battle despite where Chip is at mentally. Okay, no better, but yeah. Thank okay, you. excellent. Okay, so 13 plus 22. That's 35. Um, 35. 30 not five points of damage. That's nuts. God damn, hell yes. It's no it's no 60 points of crazy funny bullet damage, but it, <laughs> we do our best out here. You drag Destiny's blade on the ground and you raise it up and you go and you strike into him and it strikes true. You almost like slash through one of the arm and you see that purple ooze leak out of the wound. Go ahead and roll an extra d10. Holy As this blade, shit. not only nice. does it burst with ice energy, it glows this vibrant golden glow in front of you as you strike. And I want you to just roll oh, that extra damn. d10. That's a four. With that four, in that moment, as you hit, Jay, go ahead and roll a strength check. Absolutely. See with advantage to see if you're able to like break free on break free on reaction just because wow. of what's happening. Uh, here. 18. So with this, you break out of the grapple that the snakes are constricting you with. And ship in your mind you hear. As the time around you begins to slow a bit. Forgive me, but I cannot stay any longer. For I must return to my bonded wielder. And that sword. Oh. <laughs> disappears in golden dust, leaving that gaping gash of a wound in Dr. Ooze. 
and time just speeds up again. And you guys are basically flanking Dr. Ooze, one in front of him and one behind. As it speeds up uh, and this this sword kind of out of out of my hands, I'll just like fall to the ground in front of me and like trying to get myself back up. Obviously like on death store for sure. Next up is Felipe who runs up behind you and uses his action to cast Cure Wounds. And he says, Hey, well, that was sick. Thanks. You hit him so hard, the sword burst. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So I'm going to roll Cure Wounds for you real quick. Actually, I'll do Lay on Hands instead and give you the full 10 points just because it'll actually be correct. So he touches you and oh, you wait. feel that very familiar essence of Gillian, that same paladin power for lack of a better term, just sort of gently, like a friend, just patting you on the back, heal you up for 10 extra points. And that brings us to Dr. Ooze, who before his turn, at the end of Felipe's turn, will take his last legendary action for the turn. And he sort of, once again, sinks to the floor rapidly, disappearing from Chip and Jay's sight and Felipe. And Gublek, right below you, Mm -hmm. you see him kind of rise out of that ooze that's pouring onto the ground. And he looks up and he says, Isn't it magnificent, the power that you feel growing inside of you? Gublek, I believe our playtime is over. It is time for us to leave. I have set my sights on a new area to research. Jay, what the fuck did you tell him? (laughs) <laughs> I didn't say anything and Using the uh, legendary action to teleport He's now, it's his turn He's going to How do I explain this? Here's what you see, Goob, like below you Okay There's a blast A gust of wind that sort of emanates Or, or explodes from his feet where he stands mm-hmm. Shooting all of that ooze That plasma, the purple liquid Off to the side, splattering against the wall Even splattering a bit on that hourglass behind you Behind him And like a shell his skin begins to fall off and crack and under it is that same sort of plasma perfectly sculpted still look like him that you're made out of and he begins to grow and grow multiple sizes larger and you see (laughs) the cane (laughs) the cane that he's wielding begins to expand into this long golden rod where the two uh, <laughs> sorry, 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 Shut man. up! I'm so sorry. My this rod. this long, golden, thick rod. I'm kidding. Yeah, uh, where, the snakes, where the snakes not only wrap around it at the tip, but then wings begin to sprout uh, at the very top, uh, where the the snakes sort of like now the come plans. to life almost uh, and begin to to uh, to sit upon. And you watch as he sort of twirls this long rod behind him and holds it. And as he holds one arm behind him, the shirt, like the suit, the suit top begins to rip off as more of that skin begins to crack off and the ooze begins to almost like a volcano sort of erupt out as it begins to grow these different sizes larger. And there's another concussive blast of force that just goes throughout the entire room. So I need everybody at the moment to roll a dexterity saving throw, including you, Gublek. Oh, that was almost a one. Okay, 26. I only got a 13. 10. Jay, you only take five. Gublek and Chip, you take 10 points of force damage. Ugh. But with that, not only do does the skylight of the roof sort of like burst open with that blast, the steel walls themselves, the transmutation magic phase, and you see that stone and it all just blast away, revealing this sort of uh, uh, almost like a, like a bright night sky around you. And you're now only standing on this disc of a platform at the very top, the pinnacle of this tower, wherever you are. Has he casted a spell? No, this is not a spell at the moment. Not a spell? No, nope, okay. this is not a spell. You almost see as you're seeing the doctor evolve in front of your eyes and with the, the force that blasts the walls away, it also shatters that hourglass and you see Celestine fall limp oh, in the middle shit. there, still sort of unconscious, but everything just sort of blasts away, uh, creating this very open uh, platform at the top of this tower. And as he's growing, he raises one staff up, like the staff up, and then meets uh, with his other arm. And as he sort of lowers them back down to his side, you see the arms begin to multiply. One, oh, no. two, three, Jesus four, Christ. five. Fuck. Until it seems like he has 50 or so arms just Uh-oh. on the on the back of him, very like, almost like a Buddha statue inspired. 
and one of the eyes where that where you were where you struck him in the head and that 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 ooze is leaking out the eyes now this bright glowing green and this is where you see the ooze that was standing around him that you that were dripping out of the pipe you can just kind of swirl around he has an aura and this is and this is oh shit he's got an aura guys this is serious and this is what you guys are now looking at oh god you have oh, art for this too shit fucking face two art <laughs> Woo! Holy, Holy fuck. shit. Oh my god, Jesus. We're going Christ. to die. <laughs> He's got nipple piercings. Bro! Ah. Where did those come from? Did you have this on? Under the shirt? So cool. That's literally sick. He speaks out, almost ending his turn. He says, From this test, I deduce now that my research is incomplete. And I can develop this plasma and this species that I have become the first successful human of. I can develop it further. So if you'll excuse me, Gublek and I have places to see. And he means that quite literally as a pun. Okay. So next up, top of the round is Jay. This is no longer a medium seven foot tall man. He it's gargantuan, fucking large, massive. You look like you're, you're, I don't have the fucking reference there, but pretend that you are as big as his calf. That's how tall you are, okay? Holy He's fuck. big. It's like he just became he like genie from Aladdin. Oh yes. my God. Cute, fucking big. He's expanded and he's made out of all of this ooze and it's fucking intimidating, looming over you guys. So, what do you do, Jay? I'd like to look back at Celestine, actually. Unconscious, like, like very daintily and elegantly just laying on what is now, um, just those four sort of uh, thick cord like wires that were running underneath mm -hmm. the hourglass surrounded in glass at the moment she is and again this sort of like platform is almost like teetering at the top as it's just sort of like balancing on whatever it was uh, whatever the uh, um base foundation of this tower was it's now been you know almost destroyed in a sense where it's no longer stable but it's still up right yeah. And she's in the very center where the hourglass was. Grizzly, do I get the vibe that I could, uh, that I could, uh, awaken her or heal her and awaken her? Uh, <laughs> or I, she, I don't like, know. Artificially would, unconscious. I, artificially? I don't know what that means, bro. Uh, if you want to do something, it, you can certainly try. Shot in the dark. Might as well try it. She's powerful, apparently. Yeah, I'm going to turn and run to Celestine, I guess. And, uh, I'm going to try to use Cure, cure Wounds on her and see if she awakens. So go ahead and roll... Uh, cure wounds. Okay, I'm gonna use it second level. That's 15 HP that she would regain. When you heal, you can feel that your magic reaches, uh, or like your cure wounds reaches and assists Celestine, but it doesn't seem to bring her back from unconsciousness, if that makes sense. Okay. And there's also this very calming, um, welcoming energy that almost acts as like a barrier between your skin and hers that just sort of surrounds her. Magical, right. of course. Um, in essence, so I would like once more again for the my little uh, rucksack to do a burst for a temporary HP. I think Chip would be in range for this one too. I'll say because of the giant explosion of, of concussive energy, it probably got knocked in between. Mm. Um, uh, how how far is the range again? It's ten feet, and it can move fifteen feet. Uh, or so if it gets knocked up like fifteen feet, it can move back. Yeah, okay, the, you can move it back. Okay, yeah. then yeah, uh, eight HP. Temporary for both me and Chip. And Felipe. Oh, dope, that Awesome. For once, the boss doesn't, like, beat me up. It's as if he doesn't even <laughs> know I'm here. Oh, it's, it's good. Like, I mean, uh, you you could die. That would be bad. Uh, Jay, like, I think we're all gonna fucking die, man. He's, like, looking up. <laughs> this ain't no fucking pirate shit, dude. This is nothing like what we have in our world. <laughs> the fucking leviathans aren't this big. Wait, are they? I don't know. Mm. That's a Gillian question. <laughs> I've never Fuck seen that one. There's blood, I tell you! Kublak. Kublak falls to the ground in a puddle, essentially. <laughs> he's and reforms. He's staring directly at you, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. you can tell he's focused as you now. You see as under in Kublak is a twinkle of iridescent light. This is not your place. You are man, but you are not Kublak. You don't belong here. You are very bad, and you should go away. <laughs> <laughs> the real person that needs to be here needs to. And Gublek turns to Celestine, and the feat that I took is Fey touched. 
Mm -hmm. And the spell that I took is command. And Gublek says, Wake! Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Wake. Interesting, interesting. As he basically says that, and you see as kind of an outline of the the sort of vibrant colors of the Feywild flash in his core, and he says that with force towards Celestine. Epic. So I don't even want to look up if you can command an unconscious creature or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll just I'll roll for it because there's no way that she's able to consent to be willing as she's unconscious. Okay. So it's I'll just roll wisdom, to see if the magic pierces the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your DC? Um well I didn't cast spells until five seconds ago. Uh my DC's fifteen. That's a two. <laughs> oh, oh shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and with that as you explained, that swirling iridescent magic that sort of emanates from you and, and reaches over to Celestine and sort of with the combination of Jay healing whatever internal injuries and, and the like that she has and you using your fey touched magic to command. From her, her magic, yeah. Her magic, yes. Which is incredible. That's part of the... It just makes sense. And <laughs> you see uh, Jay, the eyes slowly open. Holy shit looking directly into yours and her eyes are foggy in like a blind sense if that makes sense yeah like kind of clear coated over in a way but they're, they're just beautiful silver eyes and i'll roll her initiative natural one <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah that, that adds okay <laughs> sure yeah, <that> makes sense <laughs> the last thing the gublek says to chip and jay is please don't let me go he responds, This cuts our time quite short, Gublek. I do not have the time to waste dealing with this arch phase revenge and rage. Too bad I still have 50 feet of movement, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's near you, so. He just um, runs. <laughs> when, you, when you say that, by the way, Jay doesn't say anything back, but she looks at you like with a very serious look as if she's not going, like, you would read that she, she's not going to cool. let that happen. Yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah, Gublek says that very dramatically, and then, <laughs> and then <it's> gonna, <laughs> run, he's still <laughs> run away. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to get behind Chip and Jay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing you hear. He's just gone. The guy disappears. The doctor. He's gone. That was such a fucking accident, dude. Oh, did you yeah. Anyway, so he he's gone. Uh, yeah. The Discord disconnect sound. All the music sounds. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Okay. Anyways, oh um, once you do that, and he notices, and he says those those words, the next thing is, I know now that this power can be even greater. So, Gublek, if you don't want to bring prosperity, I mean, just look at how much you've evolved. If you don't want the rest of life in this- Gublek looks down and sees that he now has four fingers on his hand. <laughs> if you don't want oh. the span of the sentient creatures of this multiverse to prosper and never be consumed by entities that only live to destroy and consume, then I will not. But that would you do, bad doctor? Then I will find a different ingredient to add to this mixture other than yourself, Gublek. And perhaps I can create something I'm even more proud of than you. And he's going to uh, use his legendary action, like a second oh, one of this round. Fuck off. Man straight up become god and then dip? <laughs> what? No. Oh shit. That's so bad, dude. Why didn't you just tell him everyone in mana was wimpy? Why didn't you say they were all so lame? I didn't just Absolutely, bro. Uh, you kind of, I mean, neither did I. Well, I was, anyways. I just wanted to, like, talk shit to him, not, like, really build up mana as, like, this. It's just fin <laughs> It's just tadpoles. It's just tadpoles. It's just frogs. There's only frogs. He it's flows and spins him. around that golden rod all around him, creating these, like, gusts of winds, almost like a ball of air. Uh, but it gets slowly, uh, the air, like, the tornado or ball, tornado ball or whatever, slowly begins to meld and mix with this purple ooze. And it becomes this giant constrictor snake like you see in the art, and it just sort of bites into time and space itself and opens this rift. And on his turn, he will be leaving. The next up is Chip. 
He has one more legendary actually action where he can, you know, he can move at any point in this round. How close am I to him? You and Jay are probably like at least 60 feet because you're on the other side of the room. Or Jay's in the middle now, you're on the other side, so. Can I can I talk to Chip in character? Yeah, of course. I said you guys could. You can also say anything you wanted to Dr. Luz. I'm just like kneeled down on the ground in front of Gublek, like trying to catch my breath. It's definitely an overwhelming amount of power. Chip, do you have something uh, unique that you can you can put on him, like throw at him, stick to him, something? I got nothing, Jay. Oh fuck. And I'm just gonna I definitely beat up. Fall fall down like further to my knees and that's it. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's all I'm gonna be gonna okay. Do. Big bad guy is going away. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I say let him fucking go, dude. There's no way we can handle this. I have twenty four H wait, how about <laughs> Oh my god, I have like thirty seven. Thirty seven what? Yeah, like health. Like, you know, like Felipe that's points. how I vitality inside of me. I feel like if I had to give it a number, it would be 37, and he could probably do that in one punch. <laughs> he has like 100 arms, man. I don't fucking... If you had to, Felipe, if you had to give him a number of vitality, what number would you give? If I had the gas, uh, probably around like 300. Ah! Give it like... Oh, fuck off. Who designed this shit? <laughs> he was pretty big. I mean, big guy who got like tons of shit. That I'd say sense. at least double what he had, you know? There's nothing we can do here, Jay. We can't just let him Nothing. leave and shit. I just look up at Jay for a moment and I make that that eye contact. There's some like and despair just... with what's happening in Jay's face. Like she looks incredibly concerned about what's happening. I just look down to the ground and that's it. <sighs> it's Felipe's turn. Guys, what would you like Felipe to do? Kill him, Felipe! <laughs> <laughs> Felipe, you must strike him down. <laughs> finish him! Finish him! I think it's pretty obvious that we can't, you know, like, at least to me, like, I, 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 at least Chip feels like there's nothing he can do here. He would, if you're asking what Chip would want Felipe to do, not get himself killed. Really? Yeah. Epic. Love that answer. He rolls up his skin like a sleeve. What the fuck? What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Felipe. Gross. And he points at Dr. Rose and he says, you motherfucker. (laughs) He says it really quietly. Like he's That's so weird. He doesn't even hear it. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. <laughs> we'll, we'll fucking hey, wait, see you again, you son of a bitch. And what do we do? We're going to be level fucking 15, probably. If I had to give it a number. <laughs> <laughs> and the end of... Uh, Felipe is my favorite meta. Yeah, actually, he's going to... I'm going to start gonna, asking Felipe more meta questions. You should. It's really funny. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's going to cure wounds uh, chip again. You get nine points of healing back. And, um, unfortunately, it is Dr. Ooze's turn. Do I not get a turn before Dr. Ooze? You went before Chip. You went after Jay. You oh, healed. Oh, shit, I don't get to... Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's, what, well, that's how I feel, right? <laughs> he opened this well, portal on a legendary action. I can't do anything about it. Damn. It yeah. sucks. Oh, well. Sucks to suck. Oh, well. <laughs> and with that, this gargantuan, overwhelming presence of a unknown, invented artificial race that this doctor has become himself. He grabs um, the like last, almost like this like one component of the um, <clears throat> optimum xenogenic bioelectronic ooze transmutation processor, and then it definitely spells it's definitely an acronym for something. I just think it's not an it so acronym. Uh, it actually can never be an acronym. I really tried. It would be ox. <laughs> it'd be ox bio. Tip. So yeah, anyways. the tip is yeah, what sports. made me. You watch some of the arms sort of grab that wrist and hold it open more and the whole body just steps through and on the other side you can just hear the sounds of these ocean waves and it all closes in an instant listen i'll be honest i didn't i didn't i forgot we weren't in like mana right now and uh, i just thought like he would know all about how strong people were there and uh not that i was like feeding him the information about that that's (laughs) bro sucks to suck suck suck, yeah (laughs) at this point chip like on his hands and knees will just roll down onto the ground and lay on his back. You also notice the moment that he leaves, all of that steel and illusionary sort of transmutation has completely faded and you are on the top, the very peak of this stone castle tower. Chip, Chip, you okay? Never better. We did it. We won. Uh, not, not. Not really. Holy shit. Are there any windows in this room we're in? 
Dude, there are no walls. There's oh, nothing. Right. You he, are standing on a disc now. Everything. Can I look over the edge of the disc? Yeah, go for it. And see, like, what does the rest of this place look like? Do I see any animals? Do I see the fucking king? Like, what do I see? I'd love to know. Um, you see, as I peer over the edge. Yeah, so what you see is the exterior of a beautiful sort of red and golden and then stone palace. Kind of in the middle of this... Like I said, you remember when you first arrived at the the, the almost like dollhouse doors and around you was just space like astral yeah. not astral but like just you know stars and, right. and blackness that's what is surrounding this sort of castle although you can see just barely because as it gets further away your vision doesn't reach just you know streams of, of some kind of river that surrounds the castle as well but mm. it's just this very vertically built very tall castle palace there are exteriors of buildings that you could guess that you may have walked through especially like um, but since everything is all vertical, you have no idea. Since it's all the exterior, it's not like you see King or anything like that. But this top of the tower, the very, very, very top, almost like a penthouse of this palace, it is, you know, swaying back and forth because of the damage done to it. And you're just standing on this, like, disc floor now. It's just sort of, like, slowly swaying. How far up are we? Fucking very, like, um, falling would be death for sure. <laughs> okay, sick. I was just gonna jump down. <laughs> what a way to go. Falling, falling would be death. The memory of you guys took very long elevators and elevators, yeah. quote unquote, yeah. to get up here. Thank you for not letting me be blended. Yeah, of course. Jay kind of just like lays next to Chip. <laughs> Too, kind of exhausted from the battle. Chip, what, what happened to you, the sword? It's gone. Oh. Went back to its owner. Does that mean... Maybe. Huh. Hey, Gubla. Gubla. You did good out there. Good job not uh, getting in the blender. <laughs> yeah, good good job, man. Tried really hard. Thank you. You did really good shooting hard. It's what I do best. They call me, they call, uh, they call my uncle Sure Shot. I'm taking the name. Jib is just kind of staring at the sky for a little. I'll say what you will about what happened. Um, it's very beautiful. What do you do, Winfrey? What first thing you do? I look, like, over to Gublek. Whatever you want. It's the best part about being free. Speaking of being free, Jay sits up and looks toward Celestine. How is she doing? As you sit up and look towards, look far out, on the very opposite side of this now exposed chamber, you see a tall, elegant woman, Celestine, standing at the edge peering over, looking down around it, sort of at this, um, at her domain, you would assume, or what has become of it, and however long she's been in that hourglass. And you hear as uh, Apple sort of flies past your head and lands on Celestine's shoulder, and <sighs> Celestine looks back to where, on the, from the shoulder that Apple landed on, and you see, like, just, like, that little glistening tear rolling down her face and that's where we're gonna end the session uh, i was i was All ready right. i was ready to keep Woo. going i was i, I was know. ready too i was ready I to know. find out who the fuck w who it was i was finally ready oh i damn. know i know damn we could have could have maybe but i think we will leave this for next okay. session and um see where it goes awesome. It'll be good, I think. I, was, uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm was ready. Great. I'm excited to talk about it and just rolled with it. Hey, what's up? It's me, Gilliam. I'm glad you made it. I've been falling for what seems like about five months in a dark void, but now it looks like names have started scrolling in front of my very eyes, so I guess I'll read them. Jonathan Bleak, Luke Ranbu, The Milk, Dova King, Beebness, Dapper, Enoch the Joke, Percy, Frog Gus, Last of Frogus Lineage, Hollow Headed, Bree Lee, Daxi Boy, Vapor, Okerberus, I'm Butt Flusting, Agar Steeljaw, Beans, Wolfie, Jaden Grant, Joey Madness, Pippin the Magi, Sweet Cacti, Baka Seven, Cal's The Folded Pizza Zone, The 
awesome man. Amber Curry, I see Sharky. Mad Maid Imp, your personal jester. Jordan, darling, red sus over paradise. Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, I have Jedi'd, now I am Jedet. Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Ju Zombo, Boss Goat, Elysian Paramore, Grand Archer, Rikert Zinn, Artemis Loves You, Crobins, Deathclaw, Sandy007, Apple, Cheshire, Blue Blend Blop, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Alyssa, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Teddy Love Bites, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Cornier Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kurotu, Nonix Lodal, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, and J Newell. Thank you all so much for having your names show up in front of me. Well, there they go up like Star War. Guess I'll keep falling literally forever. Someone please help. <laughs>